The discovery of diamonds after the country's independence in 1965 marked a new era in Botswana's history. The country finally had a resource that could contribute significantly to its GDP. Diamonds that were mined in Botswana were sent to Europe, where they were aggregated, cut, processed and priced before they were sold around the world. During that time, their potential in creating jobs and opportunities for local citizens had not been realized. But with time, this provoked debate amongst the people of Botswana, who questioned why diamonds that were mined on their land were not being fully utilized to create more opportunities. My name is Brando Kabilwe, and this is Doing Business in Botswana. The relation between the Botswana government and De Beers has always been healthy. But the Botswana government has always expressed concerns over how shipping of raw diamonds denied Botswana opportunities in value-added processes such as cutting and polishing. It made perfect business sense, to be quite honest with you. We used to ship all the diamonds from Botswana up to London to aggregate and sell, which is logistics of, of personified. So it made absolute perfect sense for us when we're in negotiations to renew our contract with government to move our headquarters from London to, to Botswana. So we kept the diamonds here. We didn't have to move them overseas to sell them. We moved them over, the, uh, kept them in Botswana. We moved everything else to Botswana. It's a lot easier to do that, particularly on the regional element, and then sell out of Botswana. The relocation of the DTC, which also includes site holders, professionals in the industry and conduction of diamond sales, has cemented Botswana's position as the leading diamond center in the world. But above all, it has also created opportunities for Botswana citizens and businesses through beneficiation. So beneficiation um, is a word that is, that is not in the English dictionary, it's been created by the birds. But fundamentally what it means is, is about working with producer governments um, to stimulate economic growth, either through the diamond business itself, so through the value chain, cutting and polishing, diamond manufacturing, that, etc. And outside that sphere as well, in terms of encouraging, enabling other companies to think about the entities where we work in, and now in Botswana here, as a destination of choice to open up another business, which may be outside of the diamond business as well. So it's not only internally in terms of the diamond business, it's external as well in creating economic growth. The beneficiation exercise will see opportunities created in many facets of the Botswana economy. It will grow the tourism industry, the real estate and property sector are experiencing significant growth. The hospitality industry has benefited extensively and it will also encourage investors to look to Botswana as a destination of choice, not just for diamond manufacturing, but for other investment opportunities such as energy, manufacturing and agriculture. We're looking at, let's say, trying to stimulate the economy, trying to stimulate opportunities for people within the country to either operate within the diamond value chain but also external to that as well. So we're encouraging the development of small enterprises itself. We're encouraging people to, external people, international companies to think about Botswana as a place to do their business. Botswana is, as it's been mentioned on a number of occasions by various members of the government, open for business. And we've certainly found that that is the case. Our transition from London to Botswana was pretty much seamless. And that's really down to the cooperation between the government of Botswana, the people of Botswana, and the De Beers group of companies. We worked together to make this a success, and it's been a success since then. So beneficiation is on top of that, saying, let's now look at all the opportunities that are currently available in Botswana for people to operate either in this industry or encourage other people to think about Botswana as a destination of choice. The business opportunities created by the DTC relocation have been substantial. Local entrepreneurs and businesses have seized the opportunity. Fluidity, a company that runs an executive taxi business, is one such company that has taken advantage of the opportunities presented. Initially, I, I, was, I had a business on my own that I started in 2009. And I was providing uh, you know, cab services, if you will. I had about four cabs that I, you know, ran individually as a person, and that actually did not go well. But we kept, uh, you know, discussing around the issue of providing a more luxurious, more executive type of uh, business, if you will. So that's when we decided we could uh, leverage on the business coming in from the from the DTC. 
So we, we you know, we decided to, uh, you know, go get financing from, uh, from the banks. We got a loan for 1.5 million, and there uh, we bought four cars, uh, brand new Mercedes Benzes, because we wanted to give the, the clients that uh, 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 luxurious service, if you will. Fluidity is one of the many companies that are experiencing growth and benefiting from the relocation of the DTC through beneficiation. Now, restaurants like this one and hotels are seeing increased business and the airline industry is also thriving. For us, the diamond training company is very, very important because they bring cash into our pockets. There's people that go out and they explore the nightlife of Gaborone. They want to see what is out there and they come and they, they got pounds. They, got, they, got the guy, they, are, they are the guys of the money. And I think it's very, very important for the whole economy that we look after these guys from, from the diamond training company because obviously they create jobs, they, they bring money into, into the circulation and, 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 that's, and that's what you need. This this country needs a, a serious influx of jobs. That is the biggest thing. The more jobs, the more money. Although the diamond beneficiation exercise is designed to benefit, there are still challenges ahead. And the major question is how this process will benefit Botswana. Many people still don't understand how they will benefit from the opportunities presented by the relocation of the DTC. And for the ordinary man on the street, beneficiation is just a fancy term that's difficult to pronounce. I wouldn't say the government has done much. In, in terms of the ordinary person in the streets, the government hasn't done enough. You know, some of us uh, being, uh, having been educated in some way, we, we are always like uh, reading our papers and interacting with other business people. But the ordinary person on the street wouldn't be able to interact with people at that high level. So for us, the opportunity uh, came about because there's also people that we know who are in the industry and they kept pointing out these uh, opportunities to us. I wouldn't imagine that uh, the ordinary person on the street will be able to uh, have been uh, informed about such opportunities. So I, I, I really think the government needs to do more to uh, you know, sensitize about one of these opportunities and even avail the, uh, the platform and channels for people to be able to access these uh, services or opportunities. I, I think there are, there are various levels of understanding of that. And, uh, I think in, in, in Khabaroni, I think a lot of people understand it. Um, or it's pretty the understanding levels are, are higher than that, potentially, of those that are living external from Khabaroni. Um, the opportunities that are there, or the opportunities that arise from the move and what have you, really are down to those that have got the entrepreneurship skills, those that have set up their own business, those that have got out there already. For people to want to be part of this, Without those, those entrepreneur skills, without those ability to try and generate their own businesses, you know, they, they sometimes say, well, what is it? what's it for me? What do I, what, what, how do I benefit from it? But the fact of the matter, you look around, you look at the amount of employment that's been generated over the last 12 months, 18 months since we've been here, you know, there's been a staggering amount of employment uh, being generated. And therefore, for some who have been directly affected by it, those that have been employed, they can see it, those that haven't, probably sometimes sit back and say, well, what is it for me? And I think that uh, it's quite difficult for them to understand. They hear about these numbers, and I've shown a few numbers already, you know, quite staggering numbers that, we've, that we, we, we're spending on an annual basis here. And for some people, they don't get that because they, don't part, they don't, haven't felt that, that, that pull through. But there's been an awful lot of people that have. The relocation of the diamond trading company has also prompted improvement in service delivery and companies within these industries are investing more to educate and motivate their staff on the relocation of the DTC and what it means to their businesses. I believe for me, training is very important. Training my staff, because at the end of the day, you know, we must never think because ah, we're in Botswana, the service can be low. These guys expect good, proper, fast, efficient service. And, and in, in, our, in our case, in our case, um, we have a hotel next door that is international hotel, a lot of tourists, a lot, lot of foreigners, and the guys come here and he expect the service here that he gets back home. If he comes from Norway or the UK or wherever he comes from. And that's very important. So I always try and train my staff and tell the customer that extra bit. It is very critical. Training is, is what makes the business what it is. You separate yourself from the others by providing exceptional service to your, to your employees, such that now when they interact with the client, that client feels that they are, they are dealing with professionals. And these people, as you understand, 
They are very critical of very small things. The aggregation and sale of diamonds in Botswana will see more than $6 billion worth of diamonds being transacted through the local banking system. All the sales that we make out of this office and the well over 60 billion pula this year all go through the banking system here in Botswana. All the transactions go through the banking system here in Botswana. It's transition, the, the transition for the, from the banking sector from two years ago to where it is today is, is just incredible. Never have they had to deal with that kind of level of transactions in the past. Now they're doing it. Diamond beneficiation is designed to benefit every Motswana. The government must ensure that information is available for Botswana to access opportunities that have been created by this relocation. The government must also ensure that policies are in place that place SMMEs on an equal footing with established and affluent corporations. From me, Brando Kiabilwe, have a good evening.